Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. I hope you guys enjoyed that intro uh, of the build that I did over the course of this weekend. That was my mini ITX Land Syndicate build. I'm going to bring it with me, obviously, to Land Syndicate in April. Um, and obviously the whole theme of the build is it's a build in a bag because I'm going to be traveling with it. And because it's an expensive PC, it's got a lot of sponsored PC parts on it. I want to, you know, carry it on the plane with me. I don't want to check it in. I don't really feel safe doing that. So the whole idea of this is I wanted to get a PC that was small enough that I could fit it in a carry-on bag that I could bring with me on the plane. And for any of you that are maybe concerned about to say, oh, you can't bring a, com a desktop computer like this on a plane, I assure you that you can. Uh, I've checked with the airline that I'm going to be flying on, which is going to be JetBlue. Uh, also, as far as the weight requirements are concerned, I inquired about that. They said they don't currently have any weight requirements as far as carry-on baggage is concerned. You just have to be able to get into the overhead compartment without any assistant assistance whatsoever, and that's not going to be a problem for me. I did weigh the PC. It came in at 12.6 pounds without the bag. The bag is actually a Samsonite bag. I don't know the exact model off my head, but I'm going to link it down in the description below because it was just right for me to fit this Silverstone RVZ02 right inside there. It's just snug as a bug in a rug. Uh, it takes a little bit of maneuvering just to get that like last corner in, but once it's in there, it's super secure. And when I do go to travel, I'm actually going to wrap this, the entire PC uh, in like a soft foam uh, as well as the bag, which the case actually came in. It comes with like a soft cloth uh, bag that kind of goes around it. And then I'm going to put soft foam around that inside of the Samsonite luggage that I'm going to be traveling with to Land Syndicate, and it should be really great. It's going to be portable for me to get, um, you know, on the plane, obviously, and then traveling around to the actual land event once I'm in Seattle should be really convenient having uh, a light PC like this, a really small form factor in the mini ITX stuck inside my luggage that I can carry with me anywhere that I go. And I also just want to take a brief moment to thank my sponsors for helping out with parts for this build. Silverstone, Noctua, and EVGA came on board to help out with this project for Land Syndicate, and I could not have built this PC without them, so thank you very much to the sponsors for this build. Uh, that Silverstone RVZ02, I've got uh, hooked up with the 600 watt SFX power supply that Silverstone was kind enough to send out to me, uh, and that's more than enough juice to power everything that I've gotten here. I actually took my i5-6600K out of my old test rig, cleaned it off, put it in here, and then stuck it on that knock to a cooler, that low profile cooler that they sent out to me along with one of their gray fans that I also swapped out as well to kind of match the color scheme along with the build together to give it that sort of all black and gray look, which I think goes along better with the aesthetic. Now, I did mention that I put my i5-6600K from the test rig over into this system. I'm actually going to be uh, going to get an i7-6700K pretty soon for the test system so that I could do some testing with that on the channel. So definitely be on the lookout for that in the near future. For the motherboard in this system, I did go with the Z170 Stinger, which uh, EVGA did send out to me, and I recycled my SSC 970 that I used to have in my test rig, uh, which I've now swapped out for the hybrid card into this system. Now, I know back in part one where I laid out all the parts for this build, I had mentioned that I was going to be using the 970 hybrid card, and that still is the plan. That still is the plan for the Lance Syndicate build, uh, but right now I just wanted to get a graphics card in there up and running, and I want to give the 970 hybrid its own dedicated video since I'm going to be stripping off the reference cooler, and I'm, they're not the reference cooler, but the blower style cooler on there, and I'm going to be trying to work that into this build to see if I could actually fit it in this cage, which is going to be very difficult. So uh, we're going to see if it's something that I can do, uh, but I wanted to give that its own dedicated video, so that's why I just have the 970 SSC card stuck in there for right now, uh, which is great though. It's, you know, giving me decent temps. I'm running around 60 to 70 degrees most of the time, which you really can't complain about in a very small form factor like this. I've still got plenty of headroom there uh, for overclocking and all of that. It's going to keep more than cool enough for my gaming needs, at least, uh, you know, at a LAN event. It's, you know, it's not a full-time gaming rig. It's, you know, going to be a travel rig for me to game with over the course of two or three days. And, you know, based on my initial testing, it should more than do that. Uh, and if you guys want to see a full suite of benchmarks, I'll on this system. Uh, I can definitely do that for you. Uh, my overclocks didn't come out the same as what I used to have in my desktop. I didn't, couldn't get the same overclock uh, on my i5 here. I only got about 4.6 uh, on the i5 without tweaking the voltage. When I tweaked the voltage, my temperatures were a bit too high, and I'm, you know, chalking that up to the fact that it is in a small form factor. So, 
there's that there. I couldn't get as high of an overclock like I used to have, which was 4.9 gigahertz in my desktop, but that was on water, mind you. That was on water. So now switching over to a low profile single fan cooler inside a mini ITX build, obviously temperatures are gonna be a lot more of a concern in that type of a enclosure. But that's gonna wrap it up for the Mini ITX Land Syndicate build in a bag. Be sure to check out all of the links down in the description below for our sponsors, as well as the parts for this build where you can pick them up over on Amazon, which will go to help support my channel. I'm also gonna have that, that Samsonite bag down there too, in case you are curious um, to get a travel build like this. If you need a PC to travel with and you want a bag that it can fit in, um, I can vouch for this case, the RVZ02 fitting in that specific Samsonite bag anyway, and I'll get the exact model number of the of the luggage bag, and I will put that down there for you guys in the description. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Please be sure to stick a like on this video if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends, and I will catch you guys next time. Turn